Hey guys, so today I'm going to make a tutorial which is a little bit of a throwback to what you might have played um, if you played the original um, Resident Evil games on the PlayStation 1 or somewhere around that time. It may well have been in other games since then, but that's the earliest um, type of game that I remember. All it is really is there's one camera, if you can see my camera preview, faces from here looking towards the player in that direction and then camera 2, if you can see, looks across in this direction now there's no com camera on your first person controller obviously because we're not doing it in first person anymore so we're doing it so that it's a fixed camera so what you want to create is two cameras in fixed position looking roughly across um, a room or within two rooms so when you walk through a doorway it'll switch to the other camera as if you were playing a more traditional um, game that you'd see on the earlier platforms now obviously if you want to create a camera you can go game object, create other, and then camera. And then obviously, if you use your first person controller, take the main camera off that object, and then all you're gonna need is a collider, which is in between your doorway, or wherever you're gonna put it to try and um, do this effect. So really, my collider is just a really thin box, and make sure that it's set to is trigger. And always remember that your player needs to be tagged player, so we can make the collider work. So initially we're going to start writing the script so what we're going to do is create javascript and I'm going to call call this simple swap I don't know name it something that helps you remember now I'm going to open up in mono develop once mono develops open what we're going to do is I'll delete these two functions for now and what I'll do is write variable cam1 as type camera variable cam2 as type camera then I'll have a private variable called walked in as type boolean equal to false then we'll go, what we're going to do is go write function start and then we're going to add two curly brackets below then we're going to say cam1 dot camera dot enabled equals true and then cam2 dot camera dot enabled equals false so that just means camera one's going to start off being our active camera or whatever camera you want to begin with when you begin your game so what you want to do is start by writing on a function on trigger enter as we've done a lot of times before open up the brackets write co um, call colon collider then close that up then add two curly brackets below and we'll say if call dot tag oh, but unity auto corrected it call dot tag is equal to player then we'll add two curly brackets below and say that walked in is equal to quest, um, exclamation mark walked in and that just means when we enter the collider it'll set walked in between true and false so we can we're going to be able to switch um, back and forth between the two cameras when we move between the um, doorways so what we're going to do is then write function update and two brackets two curly brackets below and then what we want to say is if walked in is equal to true then we'll add two curly brackets and say like we did initially here what we're going to do is paste that in I'll just arrange these more neatly then we'll say that cam1 is equal to false and cam2 is equal to true so initially once we've walked in it once it'll switch camera so we'll actually switch the direction and then what we'll do is is copy this if statement again and we'll paste it in below Then we'll say if walked in is equal to false we'll do exactly like the top we'll do that camera 1 is equal to true and camera 2 is equal to false and we'll save that so as I've said initially set whichever camera you want then when we walk into the collider we want to change the boolean value and then when it's true or false it changes the cameras accordingly now what you want to do is add the script to your collider and then once we've added it to the collider, what we need to do is add camera 1 and camera 2. So I've named it cam1 and cam2 so we don't get confused. And then we'll add those two into there. 
And obviously when I play this, because a first person controller is meant to have the camera um, for you to look in a first person view, the controls might be a little bit awkward, so you might need to go into the um, controller itself and change the script. Like if I press W, it'll go sideways, and if I press it, it'll go forward. So you really need to just change those controls up. So I'm going to try and get through this collider without so I'm going to walk through it and it switched my camera and if I go back it switched my camera again and vice versa you can switch your camera angle so as you would when you walk down a corridor in one of the earlier Resident Evil games you will get that sort of look about it so that just basically shows you how you can switch between two cameras based on the actual movement of your camera I've done very similar tutorials before but hopefully this helps you to um, sort of go back in time and make something like they made a long time ago. So thanks very much for watching and as ever don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.